after watching this video you guys will be able to enhance your web ui to something more inviting special kudos to function render dream for inspiring this tutorial i was watching one of his amazing videos from his channel and i noticed his ui appearance I reached out to him in the comment section and he replied with an answer which was very exciting. Before this, I realized Stable Swirls, if I'm right, also had his interface different from the default setting which got me also curious. So a response from Function Render Dream was really, really um, encouraging, which I really thank him for. So once we are in Stable Diffusion, um, this is the default settings for Stable Diffusion. And if we want to change the UI appearance, we go to Settings. Under Settings, we scroll down to find User Interface. And under User Interface, um, the drop down here would give us a variety of skins or themes we can choose from so this is quite a lot and to keep the video short we're just gonna try three i went ahead to test which are very cool once you guys are down here you can try as many as you want in your spare time we can try dracula refarm if i'm right uh, we apply the settings here we we'll wait for it to be applied and you can see down here it says one settings changed so once this is applied, we go to Reload UI. We see the magic from the default settings. This is really cool. This is really cool. It looks more feminine. I really like the appearance from the default settings with it. It's more inviting. Let's see what we can have from another option. Uh, we go back to settings. We follow the same process. The user interface. Once we are here, the theme section, we drop down the arrow and let's see what we can have with small and pretty. Let's see. Apply settings. Uh, once we apply settings, it's changed here. We can see one settings changed. We go to reload UI. Very, very, very different from the default settings. So let's try one last one. And the settings, you come down to your user interface and then you can just change this down here to whatever you guys like. So we go for this one here, Goblin. And now uh, let's see what we get with Goblin. Apply settings. Once settings changed, we come to Reload UI. This is really cool. So from the three examples, you guys can see a variety from the default settings. And uh, if you don't want any of this and uh, you want to take it back to the defaults, it's very overwhelming. You still come down to your settings, user interface. Uh, we go back here. And once we scroll up, you guys can see the default chair, right? So once you click your default, same, apply settings, uh, settings change, reload UI, and boom, this brings us back to our old web interface of stable diffusions. If you think you messed up anything, you can always come back to your default and everything comes back to the normal look. This was just a quick video to share with you guys regarding the answer I got. Uh, once again, big shout out to um, Function Render Dream for his response here which i really appreciate i hope you guys come up with something cool and you guys are excited to open stable diffusion with your new ui appearance and for more stable diffusion videos you guys can check any of the videos on the screen